Uh, and, uh, well, here is Katie. Now, Katie's the only person who knows what's there, and she's in an isolation tank in a secret location. Now, she's currently blindfolded, and she doesn't know where she is. Uh, but let's talk to her now. Katie, can you hear me? Yeah, hello, Darren. <laughs> hello, nice to see you. I know you can't see us. You can take your blindfold off now. Now, you're going to have a bit of a light shining in okay. your eyes, so just be aware. It might take your eyes a little while to adjust. You don't know where you are, do you? I've got no idea where I am. Yeah, I'm sorry about that. This is basically working like an isolation tank, and you being disorientated in this way, not knowing where you are, it actually does make you a little more suggestible, and it'll make your job easier of mentally projecting the thought that you're going to have. So there's a good reason for this, so thank you for bearing with us. Excellent. Now, keeping an eye on proceedings tonight, we have a team of scientists from the museum who are here to make sure that the experiment is all conducted fairly. Hello? Hello? And uh, this is our crowd. Now, you're going to have the same instructions as everyone at home, just to relax and draw whatever comes to mind. It's very important I have not given you any guidance on what to draw, correct? Yeah. Correct. Lovely. Thank you. All right. So, at home, let's begin remote viewing now. Katie, I'd like to talk to you for a moment. Can you hear me again, Katie? Yeah, hi, Darren. OK, we're going to begin the process now, Katie. So your instructions are this. We're going to focus in very uh, closely on your eyes. And what I want you to do now, in your mind, Katie, is to begin to mentally project the image that you've drawn. If you have drawn something that is fairly abstract, it will help you if you find things that in your mind that it maybe looks like or resembles. Does that make sense to you? Yeah, absolutely. Yep. OK, fantastic. So, Katie, just be doing that now. Start mentally projecting that image across the nation and to these people here. At home and here in the museum, you are now about to remote view. Everybody here as well, take a deep breath in, let it out and relax. Now imagine an image of the British Isles on a thin sheet of paper, like a newspaper in front of you. Now that image is whisked away and on the next sheet of newspaper, it's an image of the south of England. That is whisked away and on the next sheet you can see London and on the next, the Science Museum and on the next, this room and on the next, a big close-up image of that package with a newspaper around it. Start drawing whatever comes to mind now. You as well here behind me. For a week people have been doing this in the museum and you are now doing it too. The crowd here are starting to draw as well. Don't think about it. You're going to be drawing whatever comes to mind shapes and designs throughout the commercial break. The ads will actually distract your conscious mind and allow your unconscious, that is the deeper part of you, to come up with ideas. So keep drawing on several sheets. Don't sense yourself. Don't worry about being specific. Remember, it is just a simple design, so it's likely to be shapes interacting somehow. But if it makes you think of anything in particular, write that down too underneath. So keep drawing, and we'll see you in a moment. I can hear you, Darren. Fantastic. Now, you haven't been hearing what's been going on really up to this point, have you? Not at all, no. Not at all. Well, listen, Katie, we've had the same drawing come up again and again and again. Now, I'm going to tell you what it is, but I don't want you to react, OK? It might be right or wrong. What I do want you to do, though, is just to quietly in your head think about whether or not it relates to what it was that you drew. We're not expecting this to be an exact match or an exact description of what you drew, but hopefully it will relate to it in some way. Does that make sense to you, first of all? Yep, it does. OK, but please don't react, don't give anything away as to whether or not you think this is right or not. But what almost 30% of people have drawn is a set of concentric circles over and over again. OK? You heard that? Yep, heard that. With that in mind, we are now going to undo your painting, and these people here are going to find out, and people at home are going to find out for the first time what it is that you actually drew. So, um, let's do it. Michael, can you open the painting for us? Let's have a look. Michael is removing the barrier, making his way to the painting. Can you reach up there, Michael? Let's see what Katie drew. First, can you just verify what it was that you drew, uh, Katie? I drew uh, three concentric circles. Three concentric circles, and I think you signed it as well. How did you sign it? Uh, with a KM. KM, you initialed it at the side. Can I ask you, as you were sat there thinking of this, you, you did a great job. It obviously worked. Whatever you were doing was fine. Were you, what were you thinking in your mind? Were you just picturing them as circles? Or were you turning them into various pictures? What were you sort of picturing? Um, 
at a Target, uh, Stonehenge, which what the little dashes were on my picture. So, <laughs> what? Stonehenge? Yeah, absolutely, Stonehenge. Viewed from above, presumably? Yeah, be from above, above with them, the little sort of dashes of the stones. <laughs> well, everybody here, I don't know what everyone here is thinking, but the most popular drawn thing was concentric circles. That was 30%. About 10% of people drew Stonehenge. Ooh. <laughs> <laughs> Katie, this has been extraordinary. I think it's been a, a great success, but thank you, Katie. Thank you so very much indeed. A round of applause for Katie. Thank you. <laughs> thank you, everybody. Extraordinary. Now, thank you for taking part. Now, you should be able to now see on the screen results coming in from viewers at home. And if this has worked, a lot of them should be saying concentric circles. I don't know if that's worked because we're recording this about three weeks before this show goes out. So now that I know Katie has drawn concentric circles, I now have plenty of time to persuade you at home to do the same thing. So I'm going to put into every major daily newspaper on the 25th of September a tiny advert telling you to draw concentric circles. And today, as you're watching the show, if you flick through your newspaper, you will have unconsciously picked up on that instruction. On the screen now, we'll be showing you the papers and the pages in those papers or I will place the instruction in the form of a small classified ad. If you've drawn anything resembling concentric circles tonight, now you know why. Now, as for why so many people here got it, uh, who knows? And uh, as for what you might have imagined those concentric circles to be, well, that's up to you. Katie pictured them as Stonehenge, and loads of people here amazingly did pick up on Stonehenge too. Now, maybe that is just a bizarre coincidence. I'm going to leave that to you to decide. Uh, thank you for taking part. Uh, Katie, I'm so sorry. You still don't even know where you are, do you? No, nope, not at all. No, well, uh, you can come out now. Thank you so much. You can come out and get some fresh air. Stay <laughs> 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 <laughs>